If you want to start rolling, go ahead. Go ahead and keep rolling. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in some tearaway bead here. You know, I, I cut this piece twice, and it's still too short. I had to turn it down just a little bit more. Um, but I'm putting in the tearaway bead. These are vinyl windows, and I found the best thing to use is this product right here, tearaway bead. And this little piece of corner is going to tear away. But I'm going to put it up here first, like this. And I don't particularly care. I know a lot of guys like to spray glue this stuff in. I do not. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I was working on a project. It was a Lexi Jones project in Bartlett. And there was, we had two different drywall contractors there. And I worked for one drywall contractor. And then there was another drywall contractor there too. And we did certain houses. And they did certain houses. Well, one day, I get called to the office, and they want to know why it is, why it is that their windows were all cracked out, and ours were not. And so they're asking me, because I'm actually the foreman uh, and everything else on this project, so they're asking me, and I was just like, I don't know how you install them. And they're doing it exactly the same way we are, except they were spray gluing all of their their uh, tearaway beam on. And, uh, and we weren't. We just stapled it on. And he had, if I attach this really, really tight to everything so that tearaway bead can't move underneath the mud, it's just going to pop and crack and buckle. But since it can move a little bit and everything can just move a little bit, it should stay good. I'm not saying it will because I can't stop a garage from cracking and popping if there's not a regular heat and regular air conditioning. But since I have those two pieces in, I'm going to show you what else I do here. I'll put this piece here. I'll cut this piece and real quick. Look real close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of this off, that little tearaway right there. And I'm going to take it off of this side too. Just a little piece, just like that. Because come here and look. When I put this in place, this tearaway piece right here and this tearaway piece right here go all the way into there. And now when I put this piece on here, do I need to trim this a little bit more? I do, I need to trim this a hair more. Just a hair. I'll take it from this side. And take that off too. So now when I put this in here, it rides on top of that. It rides on top of that. And if you look very closely, the two pieces of tear away that I tear away aren't touching here and they're not touching here. So when I go to finish this, but right here, right there in the corner, those two pieces are touching and these two pieces are touching. So when I go to finish this, I'll be able to peel all this tear away bead off. I don't have a piece of tear away underneath the other piece of tear away and uh, it'll be just fine. And, uh, but that's how I put them in. And I, like I said, I just, Trim that little piece right there. Are we on? Yep. All right, so I want you to come take a close look at this right here. Look at if I tried to put this piece in, I tried to put this piece in here like this. See how this bows out right here? It won't lay flat. And I didn't know why. I'm trying to figure out why. But then we looked really, really closely, and right here, right there, there's a little chunk of wood trim that they trimmed this window out with that's sticking out. They, they cut it where the drywall is, but it's not cut flush with the window. So what I had to do is find out where it was and cut a little piece of that off. So now when I put this piece in, nice and flat. It just lays nice and flat. So, uh, so we have to, you have to be careful. I mean, you, you really want the stuff to lay in flat, uh, nice and flat. And this does, this does now, so, all right. Hey, I just want to say Bill Provost, thank you. This is my new Patreon. Uh, 
supporter. And for everybody who's out there supporting my channel with comments and my old Patreons, I want to say thank you. Thank you all. Uh, just a special thanks to Bill. Like I said, he's just a brand new Patreon supporter today. And I want to give him a shout out and say, hey, you guys keep up the good work. Keep up the great comments. And Bill, just email me anytime. I will answer your emails with any questions. I know you're getting a new set of tools. And everybody, hey, if you could subscribe, subscribe. If you can share my videos, share my videos. And every, like I've always said in every video, have a great day.